गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स वी हैव द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ तमिलनाडु मिस्टर एम के स्टैलिन हु इज गोइंग टू कम ऑन बोर्ड एम्प्रेस सो ही इज गोइंग टू अराइव एनी टाइम सोन यू कैन सी दर इज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ सिक्योरिटी प्लैंड लेट मी जूम इट फॉर यू so he's going to enter from here and into the ship and we have police everywhere all over the place even up on the rooftops as you can see and then we'll have some traditional music played when he arrives so the chief minister soon going to arrive now oh i think that's the one there's a red flag in front there's a car with bodyguards look at that oof straight from the ship this is a, a high security zone so i'm sure the locals are not going to be allowed to capture this around 2:40 early morning and um, i'm recording this on open deck on on the ship that i'm working in uh, so right now uh, in the evening we sailed from chennai the port of chennai and um, the weather just turned really bad so right now it is storm thunderstorm lot of rain and so this is the deck uh, open deck of uh, the ship and um, so the storm or the rain the thunder lightning is on the other side other side the wind is really um it's very heavy and it's just not very difficult for me to actually even stand in one place or just move around on the other side it's just raining very heavily on the on this side of the ship i'll just show you how it uh, really is waves i'm not sure if you're able to see this properly it's lightning Let me just try to uh, go to the other side uh, from the front end of the ship. I just try to show you what are the 
conditions on the other side. You can see uh, that that's red. And that rain is falling from the ship like waterfall. It's crazy. Never seen anything like this. of Sri Lanka we haven't reached uh, the tip yet the southern part of Sri Lanka that I think we will reach there by night time now the time is 6 p.m. in the evening We haven't uh, yet reached the tip of uh, Sri Lanka. As you can see, I've uh, shown it on the map. Uh, this is uh, where we actually are right now. And uh, you'll not be able to see anything, it's very dark. But uh, right now the time is 10.15 uh, p.m. Indian Standard Time. And uh, we're still uh, in the eastern part of uh, the island. So maybe in another two to three hours, we'll be uh, reaching the tip of Sri Lanka. So we'll be reaching uh, that section of uh, the water in the next uh, two to three hours. Maybe around 12 uh, midnight, uh, we'll be reaching around the southern uh, part of Sri Lanka. And tomorrow we have a smooth uh, cruising on the western part and uh, crossing Colombo and then into Indian waters, the southern uh, tip and then onwards to Kochi after uh, two days. I'll keep you posted and uh, I'll um, give you an update tomorrow in the morning. Okay, so the time now is 4.30 in the night early morning 4.30 and the lights that you can see over there, the blinking lights that is Sri Lanka so, the ship is going through a passage now, it is still, uh, it is very close to uh, mainland uh, I'm guessing it uh, must have crossed the southern tip of uh, Sri Lanka, there is a boat over there but uh, it must have crossed that Upwards uh, passage towards Colombo. So GPS just got updated. I'll uh, be posting the pictures of the GPS uh, down below. And as you can still see, uh, it's dark. I'm not able to capture it on the video. I can see the entire strip of lights, the city lights. So we have crossed the southern tip of Sri Lanka and now we are heading upwards towards Colombo. Then we will take a sharp left and uh, head towards the mainland India. The western coast of India is going to arrive sometime tomorrow, I would say post 3 pm. I will keep you all updated with that. 
so today is the 26th of September and the time is uh, 2 p.m. and um, now we are uh, in no man's sea as you can call it uh, because uh, we are uh, uh, we have left the coast of uh, Sri Lanka as well and uh, we are heading towards uh, the Indian uh, peninsula towards the southern uh, tip so this uh, sea body that uh, It's a bit more uh, rough as compared uh, to the uh, domestic waters. Uh, this is because uh, there is no land uh, mass uh, around. So you will see that uh, the sea behaves uh, very differently uh, away from uh, any coast. So we are still uh, far from uh, Indian coastline. Uh, we should be um, arriving uh, beside the Indian coastline sometime uh, tonight and then from there uh, it's uh, up north uh, smooth sailing towards Kochi. I'll keep you updated as we sail along. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cochin International Cruise Terminal So Cordelia Cruises the Empress has traveled all the way from Chennai across uh, from the Bay of Bengal crossing from down below Sri Lanka and coming up to the Arabian Sea and here we are after a very long time back to the western coast of India in Kochi water here in Kochi with the plants this is very unique to Kerala and looks very beautiful so that is the cruise terminal of uh, Kochi and it's a very beautiful, uh, well-made structure. It looks quite traditional. Traditional houses here in uh, Kerala, state of Kerala, uh, has similar rooftops. And uh, we have some guests over here, very excited. I'll show you the uh, other side as well. This is the sunny side. As you can see, that's the captain. And whenever there is a, uh, as we come alongside the port, uh, the captain uh, usually operates the ship from uh, uh, the sides. It's easier to judge uh, so that it can just smoothly uh, get alongside. This is a very delicate uh, process and has to be done uh, carefully and uh, with a lot of patience. So I'm going to just uh, time lapse uh, this section so uh, you'll uh, get an idea of how uh, it comes alongside the port. Mm -hmm. 